welcome everyone to the second annual podcast. Today we are... We are a bit more people, exactly by one person. We have a few new countries here. But first off, let's uh, do an introduction. You know me. I'm the owner of this channel, so I suppose you know me. I'm from Switzerland, and I shall represent this country. Hello, I'm Kaldi, and I'm living in Germany, so I'll represent it, I guess, or stuff. And next one, and Doro. yes, beer oh. is very tasty. No, ah, no. yes, yes, I, yeah, I agree, M much agree, Oktoberfest, Doro. Hello, my name is Doro. Um, it's a go in this podcast. Okay, the next one. That okay. that'll be Lucas. Yeah. So, hello everybody. I am Lucas. I am I was born in Czech and lived in there four years, but um, now I live in Austria and I'm British at heart. Good. And you represent the Czech I rep Republic. I represent Czech Republic. My name is Martin and friends. I will represent Austria and I'm 15 and I like German engines. Very nice, now Vera. Yeah. My name is Vera, I'm a trans girl, I'm 15, I live in France, but I'm from Italy, and I'll, I'll be representing both Italy and France. Nice. Good, so, let's start with the first question. Now, Caldi, you're gonna read that one? Mm -hmm. Wait. So, like, I think we're gonna start with yours. So, guys. What's the worst season of the classic series? Mm, what's the I, worst I season of the classic season? series? <laughs> so, Staffel and um, season seven, I would say. Yeah, I same. mean, what's like from season, season one to seven. Yeah, yeah from one to seven, yeah. I would say seven. Yeah, I, yeah. Say I think it's season. it's just a bit boring, and the lighting is the lighting is like the hell. If you look at at season five, wow, like. Cinematic look at this lighting, and then season six and seven is like just dull. It looks like, yeah. And the uh, shots from season one are just like the most awful thing I've ever seen. Yeah, but it can be that way then that um, um, season seven was a sequel season to the new series, you know, um, season eight to twelve. More, more like prequel. The sequel would be prequel. like prequel, yeah, prequel. After prequel. A, prequel. Prequel, a prequel season. And in the US, they really tried to make it um, look like the new era. There was a um, the, the mm -hmm. intro of the new era, and it was um, completely new music and uh, completely um, and the doll narrator Michael Brandon. And um, yeah, the stories mm -hmm. weren't, in my opinion, that innovative as it was in yeah. season one to six. That's true. Season yeah. six had really funny episodes, of, I believe, but season seven yep. um, had. Really well, I could mm -hmm. think that uh, uh, um, kind of uh, more not a fan of both because and I don't know um, I um, I I. So uh, I have to cut you off because your audio breaks up like it's like. Yeah. Um, do you have a different microphone? Okay, I'm now in my phone. Do you okay. hear me? Yeah. yeah. Now it's fluid. Now it's fluid. Yeah, you better. Uh, you're a bit, um, okay, now again, I'm sorry. Oh, I'll have to repeat it again. Now I'm yeah, I'm so sorry. A bit more quiet, but yeah. so what you said? Yeah. I was saying that uh, both, for me at least, both season six and season seven are equally not that good comparing to season five. I watch it alongside, and I don't feel the same way. 
that you will. Well, <laughs> yeah, watch. I understand that. I agree. Yeah, Do I you agree. mean visually or story-wise? Both. Both actually. Yeah, you both. Mm, like in so. season seven makes sense. The uh, hit entertainment uh, with season seven. So like, yeah, the stories were more more of focus. But like, I understand what you mean. Se season six felt weird. It just it 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 didn't felt like it was a uh, season after season five. Yeah. Cool. Like yeah, after I the cinematic, huge cut, scary, huge cut. perfect yeah. season. Season yeah, six was weird. I don't know. Season six, you have like wonderful co colors. Season six, uh, no, it's, no, not season six. No, hell no. Season five, you have wonderful colors. Season six, just white. Everything white. Yeah, yeah, like, really yeah. Bright. yeah, yeah. For the like, uh, and uh, also there were many good stories. Like, Percent Haunted Mine was, yeah. Yeah, that one's alright. But like yeah. every, you have to say every scary mm. episode is always good. Like there aren't bad ones, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's so except in the, the new series. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The season 16 episode and um, person and the monster of Brandon. So it's called. I I meant the oh, classic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah classic. Because like because like uh, after season 12, oh, it's like oh, oh uh, a scary episode. Here is the monster. Here is the engine. So uh, we are going to do a very scary thing. So you can all see that is not scary. Yeah, I think, Great. Um, we I need think, it. I think, Great. The, I think the unique thing of the um, scary episodes of the classic series was, especially Duncan gets spooked, is that it's a bit um, a, a mystery and not happy ending, and um, it's not really told that uh, the story was real or fake. Well, probably. Yes. It, um, probably ah, you watch a lucky tuck. Probably it wasn't yes. a ghost, but um, <laughs> it can be that there was really an engine who fall yeah. down the bridge. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's the the ambiguity. Yeah, I also Rusty prefer Rusty this in the and, classic series. And Rusty and the Rusty and the Bolton add, is also uh, in season five. We can definitely feel Brit Alcroft. We can feel she wrote it. We can feel she wrote it with the same yeah. thing in mind. Uh, the Reverend W. Audrey had in mind because what Audrey always said was you're not just writing stories for children, you're also writing them for the people who are gonna be forced to read them to the children all over, yeah. over and over. That's what Audrey said and Brit Alcroft definitely, she definitely uh, felt the same way morally. Uh, her uh, the stories written by her can be enjoyed by the whole family, and I think that's yes. what makes season one to five more magic than season six. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very interesting question: When did the Reverend die? In 1995. Wait, no, what? When did no. season six came out? 2002. 2002. 2002. 2002. So it could be that uh, season six feels weird because the Reverend wasn't there anymore. No, and season so um, uh, season, season, the Reverend's season, four, season five was um, yes, also but, uh, when Thomas and the Magic Railroad came out in 2000. The Reverend was already dead, but it yeah, did in season feel five. It was very also in the same way. Season five. Yeah, season five. Was yeah, but also it still was way. trash. And, and if the Reverend would have been still alive, he wouldn't have approved it. So, like, it makes sense that season I, six I ends to feel weird think... because the Reverend wasn't alive anymore yeah. to but look season, what but look, just Yeah, but look, I, I mean, I disagree. The Reverend... I disagree. I liked mm -hmm. Thomas and the Magic Railroad. I, I do it. too. But if you would say the Reverend would still like stuff like season five, he probably didn't because he was already criticizing. Season three because of yeah. stuff like Rule Fifty Five. I mean, yes. he only likes Series One to Two because it's so strictly based on his formula. I think it's true that Brit Allcroft still had this um, mindset of making the stories enjoyable for everyone, but it's not exactly a copy of Audrey's. But that's also yeah. good. It's a new yeah. interpretation. Yeah, Maybe totally. it's because they didn't use uh, after uh, after season five they didn't use uh, his stories anymore. Railway so series, like yeah. she had to like uh, at that point also he died, you know. But like, also at that point uh, they had to um, 
make more stories of their own. And so like, in season 5 there are also bad episodes, but you don't remember them because there were so so many good ones and they yep. most often were from the Reverend. So like, it makes sense that... Uh, well, season 5? These... Yeah. Did you say? Uh -oh. There are yeah. no... Railway series episodes in season five. There Everything are, is written by them. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know yeah. the name, but uh, Louis uh, Gerüchteküche. Bullshot is from uh, Christopher. Gerüchteküche. That is not, that not a, railway series. That was a um, story from Andrew Brenner in the eighties. Yeah, that w that. Oh. Yeah, they stopped with it in season four. Yes. Oh. And also, yeah, and also, I'm just um, making weird um, assumptions. I know. Also the um also um. The episode Old Slow Coach, um, the plot with um, the yeah. fire, that was also Andrew Brenner. Mm. Yeah. He was there from the beginning, but he made first magazine yeah. stories, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah he for started the kids. there. Yeah. I remember. I have them! I have. Oh my god, I have them. I have, I have them, them all. I can show you my collection. I have a little box okay. where I don't have, like, I don't know, 30 of them. Okay. okay, that's great, but you know, uh, here in, at the podcast, we only record the audio, so... Oh, no, 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 I don't care, I'm gonna show it to you no. now. Ah, oh, but then the people it can't, can't see it, you know? You can, uh, you can do a picture of it. Next question. Yeah. Uh, who has the best character development? TV series uh, only. What do you mean? I cannot answer that. I I am not able to to sense character development, and I didn't watch this series uh, uh, good enough to notice any character development. So yeah, yeah I can't. The answer biggest that. problem is that it's a series which is always going on. So like they aren't ending yeah. something. You just yeah, have yeah, to like, uh, see um, like uh, the biggest uphill uh, per uh, uh, engine win, not the end, because there is no end to any yeah. engine outside but, of I yeah. think Diesel. But I think he was referring to the classic series only. Yeah, one no. to seven. Just one to seven. Yeah. I completely Four. ignore everything past season twelve when I talk about character development. Okay. So I think the best yeah, character not my development thing. in the classic series was Thomas's because um, he was um, yeah yeah he was a, a very he was um, I think um, the best thing to describe him is um, a, a grown um, teenager in season seven who was um, not that cheeky anymore and um, yeah it's a pretty good development in my opinion. Yeah, I think yeah. Thomas's one is very subtle, but very nice. But I think, the, well, the harshest one, well, the fastest one is for Henry. Not personality-wise, yeah. but ca character-wise, I mean, even, like, with looks. Literally. I mean, he changed from a weird mixture to a Black Five. And I think his, what, is it a trilogy episode where this whole arc happens, or is it four, so it's a quadrology, I'm not sure. But I, I really, really like this part, you know, with the uh, flying hippo coal and all that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the most interesting. Um, or when it comes to others like James. I mean, in the new, I mean, even in the Brenner era, James is like always a little bit an asshole. So I mean, if he, some like sometimes he learns a lesson, but oh, next episode, oh, I completely forgot about that. Uh, being back, <laughs> uh, le let's go back to being an asshole. I mean. They don't really have a potential like to, yeah, yeah, with like with Diesel. Yeah. Because like he exactly. always comes back and the controller knows he's the biggest brat and asshole ever created from the British Railway, but he doesn't care, he couldn't care less. It's the same with Diesel, then he knows he's the worst supervillain ever built, but he <laughs> couldn't care less. Yeah, but when it comes to the absolutely best character development in the classic yeah, Let series, me guess he's gonna say Gordon. No, mm -hmm. not Gordon. That that was in the railway series. In, in in the TV uh, series. I thought you were gonna say Gordon way. because of no, Unlucky Duck. No, that was mm -hmm. only in the railway series. But um, I was. I, I would say I would Gordon. Say, too. But there, there is no there is a character development in the classic series. Mm. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. There's oh. no character development in the classic series. Yeah, where? 
is so egocentrical at the beginning of season one, refuses to shunt his coaches, oh, but you're, then yeah. he Does pulls some seven. trucks when James pulls his, pulls his express. Like, if that's not character development, then what is it? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, you're right, right, in yeah, season true. one, Gordon had a big uh, arch because they, uh, that were the uh, classic, uh, I mean the Rareware series, yeah. and the Rareware series but was really. the uh, thing where Gordon developed. Yeah, but it, uh, so, if it was, um, if it was um, still going on with adapting Audrey books, it um, would, um, it uh, m must be um, the last book, Thomas and, uh, Thomas and his friends, should be then adapted well then there would be the character development finished beautifully yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not, I think never gonna also, get that yeah. I think it's also like very interesting how uh, like in season one there were so many golden episodes because there were so many very very books with him but then after time and time they like I don't know, shut Gordon down, like, he didn't become, like, that many episodes, and he had only, I don't know, yeah, one or did, two yeah. episodes per season. And they pumped up a little bit oh. with James and Percy. Yeah, because, like, yeah, James was the brat, and Thomas too, so, like, for the younger audience, it makes sense. Yeah, but, I mean, what's the best personality you can write an episode about? A nice character like Edward, or, like, an arsehole like James or Duncan? Yeah. Or yeah, like a, a, ch a cheeky bastard like Percy. I mean, it's the yeah. most fun with these guys, always. The, as, a I cheeky think bastard, like I take offense on that. Yeah, but what's really... <laughs> what's really Remember I'm about... Percy fan 2006? Oh my god, I just realized the biggest character arch, Sir Handel. Like, he Sir was Handel? always the biggest bread, he was like Duncan 2. But... Oh, oh wait! He was uh, no, that's not. Season 10. I can. That was uh, Max, my, really my dear, my, my dear friend. I that can tell you that's really not character de development. Yeah. Hit Entertainment was just too lazy to, uh, like, watch the old episodes and say, "Oh, we have a character. What's yeah. his name? Sir, Sir Handel. Um, what's his character? A... Don't know. Okay, he's uh, he's now nice. Okay, I suppose so. Yeah, I I, I think they just like transferred the I more interesting personality on the more popular and well known. character character so like they switch the boring no no, no I, I meant to Scaloy because like oh. Scaloy <laughs> isn't the same he is just a handle in a different shape like actually they look very samey similar well the hitter uh, was was very bland in character development yeah. speaking of all characters like even the main ones have like pretty bland personalities. They're all kind people. They never tease each other. Yes. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. they weren't yeah. sassy as the they biggest... were in the classic series. Like, mm -hmm. and that's what I love about the classic series. You have like stuff yeah. like Thomas saying, "Rubbish, you're they too fat. You need more exercise." They roast yeah. each other. That's, yeah, and that's that's really fun to, to the... watch now even more. I'm not so fat as you. Your your <laughs> ugly face is enough to scare everyone. Like they roast each other. <laughs> Wait, that's something about... that didn't return in the hit era. I don't completely hate the hint era, but yeah, that character personalities were an important part. Yeah, the hit era is not bad, it's it. just... The oh, yeah. hit era is not really bad, it's just very boring. Boring. Yeah. You know, what, you know what I realized? Duncan was introduced with the rock and roll thinger and that he uh, always uh, would come off the rails. And like, in every season he had at least like, I don't know, two episodes how he messes up. But like after season, I don't know, five, he also had like, I don't know, uh, the whole four episodes, but he didn't rock and roll anymore. He did other things that uh, weren't like, uh, 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 yeah, he, uh, he didn't rock and roll anymore. So I have a question. Is Duncan still rock and rolling? Because 
if yeah, he, the writers just forgot about it. If he isn't, then this would be a character development because, like, he stops. Ah, uh, uh, yes, he, he's a wise guy. He 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 um, got yeah. over to jazz as all as everybody should. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's now listening <laughs> to Duke Ellington, Miles Davis. In the railway series Duncan swore because he was uh, used to work in a factory where. Well, man, you know, they were in the manufacturing factory, they swear a lot, so we picked up that. So in the Railway series, it is canon that Duncan swears a lot. I, I, I think just, like, if it actually, like, if he actually stopped rock and rolling, I think it would be the biggest character development if you go or from maybe season one to seven no, they just, they just yeah because like with, because like he uh he uh he realized that uh, rock rolling and be uh, coming off the rails isn't as good but he still is a brat so like he does uh not nice things but uh he doesn't come any uh, off, off the rails anymore because uh he knows yeah, his he limits yeah but it's he it's, it's, it's kind of like it, it's kind of like it's kind of like a kid like he still wants to be a rebel, but he realized that he has limits. So, like, he still mm -hmm. wants to be a bad person, but not as bad as before, because he knows that's too bad. So, like, I think this would be a very good character development. Yeah, but you can't and really, also, like, yeah, or maybe it's just also a rock and roll too. whenever he's not on screen. Yeah, but you can't really oh, uh, call maybe, it a but character development. I don't, I don't know. You can't really call it a character development because there's no episode where you see it. When yeah. there's an episode where and there's you, no you really evidence see of where he changes his um, things, and um, it, did that would be the proof for the character development. Yeah, so but you don't about? have to see character development when you know it. You know it. You can read between the lines. That is just that a someone theory, and not theory good or an interpretation. The lines, actually. <laughs> That's just a theory or an interpretation. But if there would be yeah. an episode, but that it would be a very nice character development. I agree with you. Did he stop rock and rolling in the railway series though? Because if he did, then hmm. he didn't. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he did. But, but like, what about, I mean, what about, yeah. what about Mavis? She oh yeah, yeah, Mavis. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mavis. Really, really, really good character. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. of her personality yeah. in the hit era. Yeah, and there's actually like, an episode where it's uh, really shown that she wants to yeah. change her things, and it's just really well done, realist, realistically made. Because um, when it comes to um, character. Ca realistic characters and um, railway realism, Audrey was really a beast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He yeah, Audrey the beast going to, to the gym, doing some possible. character development. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, well, if you, uh, if we like, um, put Duncan also in the can of um, character development, if we just assume that was happened, uh, that's what's happened, I have a second character where we can assume he changed a lot, and it's Daisy. But not from yeah, season then, one to no. season, it is just from season one to twenty-one. Then, because then like is, he, she was all, she was always a brat. She was like Diesel yeah. too. Yeah. He's still a brat. But yeah, but like, but yeah, like, how it I, think, I watched one episode yeah. of her in season twenty-one. Oh, uh, in season twenty, I don't actually remember. But yeah, how did yeah. she change? Like, There's, she's um, still a brat to Ryan. Like, no, yeah, but really, spring time for but, Diesel. Um, there's an, you know. Um, that's not really an assuming, uh, no, this I is a watch that. character I... development. You didn't watch I... that?! I watched very few CGI episodes. Yeah, it can be, it, it can be assuming that uh, yeah, Daisy began like a really arrogant brat who thought she's better than everyone else. And then, after the thing with Ryan and so on, where she really um, had the feeling but because Ryan was actually, uh, when you think of it, her first friend, and there uh, you can yeah. assume that she wants to change her things, how to be to other people, and then it would be realistic that she's a bit nicer to Diesel. So I think that's a really good character. Yeah, development. It, it, because like uh, also after really the whole Ryan thing. thing. Really yeah, evil. season 21. Yeah, the springtime for oh, Diesel. All because the characters like, in, she I could think... be nice to Diesel. <laughs> really? I think like I'm in season 20 was her character arc with Ryan, I think. Yeah. So in season 21, it would uh, it just makes sense that in season 21, she's like so realistic with yeah. Diesel that she knows 
that he then... has to change in the blunt and hard way because she already experienced it. Yeah, and how then else must... would she have said it? And then we must just um, uh, pretending that Big World, Big World, Big Adventures never happened because in yeah. School of Duck, yep. Daisy yep. is yep. Uh, uh, just rude again. But yeah. that's about lazy writing and just awful. Yeah, like yeah. it's. Oh, no. I think like this. This whole. We, 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 let's we, just say just Big World, Big yeah. Adventures. The animation before, like before season, good, classic, nice. It looks all right. Big World, Big Adventures, plastic, looks nasty. <laughs> the, 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 the engines look like plastic. What the, the hell? Face laughed on it. It's Shaggington with a Thomas face laughed on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like they're wobbling about the place, but what the hell, bro? But That's yeah. not how machines they, work. They switched Henry and Edward for a banana and uh, yeah. uh, an orange. <laughs> like, yeah, and why? now it's even like, worse. Now it's like in 2D flash animation. Yeah, how like yeah, old YouTube flash, videos, yeah. like in 2010. You, you know the trans yeah. Transformers videos where Thomas is like yeah, mixed like with Transformers? That. It's Black basically like that, but the Transformers yeah, animation looks even better than that what we have today. It's it's awful. <laughs> but tell what are you doing? What? Look how you massacred my yeah, boy. It's really it's it's really everything all about looks nowadays because um yeah. it's really yeah. uh, often told yes, that it Mia, is. It, it's really often told that Mia is from Kenya and she has a different style that um. The you watch the, the you watch a lot of tax candles. Yeah, wouldn't the and, back um, controller yeah. repaint her though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would be As great. Ray was using back controller, but not, be, uh, but not the TV series back controller. <laughs> what? <laughs> not that? Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, and 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 Rebecca wants to um, look um, um, differently in um, the season twenty-two episode. So it's just all about looks. I nowadays. didn't watch season 22 like at all. Like I watched one or two. I forced myself to watch them. Most. Don't do it. Don't do it. I you will don't watch season 22. I won't force myself to watch the reboot. Though. Really, do you know how the episode is called? I just know the German title. Ah. What do you mean? Yeah, jeder ist etwas Besonderes. I uh, didn't you watch know? season 22. Uh, uh, every, everywhere, everyone's important. I, I have no idea. I, I don't. But uh, the one episode where uh, with the terror fantasy sequence with Pinchy, you know? Oh no. Yeah, that one. There, it's all. Oh no, that's not the screenshot. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to have have anything to do <laughs> with that. <Shit. laughs> but the best character yeah. development is um, still. Let's Henry yeah, let's settle on one. one. But what would you also, say? Also, I, I have one more thing to say. Uh, the only thing I'm interest, interested in of season 22, right now of season 22-24, is finding the goddamn third Italian intro. Only that, after I found that, I can <laughs> finally stop looking for stuff with season 22. Or big world, big adventures in general. When it comes to um, countries, um, countries, what do you what do you think about um, the dub of your country? That would be an interesting question. We don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> let's don't let's have go one. with the German. No, we look, uh, here in Switzerland have... and Austria also, we use the same one as the Germans. Yeah, I'm but I mean, Czech, I season one to five were very good, so I don't complain. But about well, the rest, it... yeah. Guys, just like uh, Lucas, I appreciate your question, but let's put it at the end because I first want to uh, get all the questions in the question channel finished, and after that, uh, we'll have enough time for questions from you guys. Okay? okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, wait, we didn't set who has the best, uh, best character development. Uh, okay. oh, we, we agree to disagree. I've got Henry, yeah. um, uh, Max has got Thomas, uh, uh, Luke has got Thomas, uh, where would say Gordon, uh, Max then died. Henry's was Doro, what would you say? Mavis, I said. Mavis, and Doro says Mavis, so let's say, let's agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next one. What is uh, your favorite wooden railway item? I don't. I, okay, I, I think I start because it's a very interesting uh, question for me because I don't have like 
wooden railway items at all, but one. I have mm -hmm. one wooden railway item because uh, you remember when Bash Dash and Ferdinand came out? Oh no. In the stores, and yet, yes, I had a Thomas store here. It was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen in my life, and it closed. Uh, I really don't. That's what wonder. they always do. <laughs> yeah, they close. But like, uh, they closed or like, uh, He had Bash and Ferdinand, and he had yeah. uh, he didn't have Dash. So don't I don't tell me you bought them. Don't tell me, please. I I, I bought Dash. You would have bought uh, them. Oh bought God! Dash, the wooden railway. Bless thing. me. Bless for me! Had Bless like you. Dash and but Ferdinand, the uh, total normal, but like Bash was the wooden <sighs> shitty one. And like the way it, 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 he looked so weird. The way it's just, <laughs> it was so funny. Like the small, tiny world and this huge engine on it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It was me, it if, you would have, uh, it yeah. would have, if you would have put like, uh, how, how, how is this engine called, like this American engine, uh, who is merchandise oh, exclusive, oh, thank the goodness. really big one, with, I don't know, Sam. Wow. Sam, yeah, 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 Sam. It's like if you would have put him on the normal rail, it, it just yeah. feels off. For me it would be, um, personally, I think that's a hell of a bird. I would say, for me, it's personally one of the items I extremely love is Neil, because I, I had a conflict that Wait, I, I could decide. Wait, there's where we're Neil? Yeah. I could decide, really? should I buy a Scotsman or a Neil? And of course, I picked Neil because I'm stupid. I should have picked a Scotsman. But I still yeah. like Neil because he's now very expensive. And he's mine! <laughs> he's mine! Yours! <laughs> what are you your going? He's treasure. <laughs> Okay, what about mine? Well, mine, uh, either Brio and Henry, if the Brio items count, I don't have it though. Or, the first lady, like, the first one released for the Magic Railroad, not the redesign, the redesign shit. But the original one, I just love it. Oh, you're back. Okay. Yes. I think... Uh, Hello, what? Where, where he, are you he has doing? Un, he's undead now. Yeah, no, I, he's, he's... I, I, I was eating a hamburger. Hamburger. Oh, I, why yeah. did you mute yourself? I would have burger. loved to listen to your ASMR. Oh, wait, wait, <laughs> I can, wait, I can do your drinking ASMR. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 I think Mark is It's beautiful. Oh, I Phil, think what's should... your favorite wooden... Phil, the it's question, the what's your favorite wooden, wooden railway item? Your favorite one. <laughs> don't, say, don't, say, don't say Scotsman because of Lucas. Don't say Scotsman. Scotsman. No. Can we do it? How here? is Thomas received by the population of your country? Oh. Yes. Uh... Yeah, I know uh, the answer, but I don't want to say it. Yeah, I, 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 I think I'm going to start so everyone knows. Oh my god. No one! And I mean no one except Thomas here. Because, like, uh, the problem is my generation just grew up with, I don't know, season 11, 12, 13. Yeah. And, like, these were the worst. Like, yeah, if they had grown up with, bullshit. I don't know, like, Season 5. If they had grown up with Season 5, they would have just, like, loved it. Like, we do. But they didn't. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I was lucky only because known... I had these DVDs with, like, Season 5 yeah, stuff. Yeah, but, yeah that, that's just pure luck. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, But, so okay, they don't I know what, what Thomas really is. They think, like, this is Thomas. This crap, so, which I is mean, called Season 12, that, is Thomas. That's my problem with Bash Dash and Ferdinand. They represent like everything yeah. shitty about Thomas. And I bet you they can remember these bastards, but they have no idea yeah. who like fucking Gordon is or stuff yeah. like that. My Next. country, uh, France, I don't really know. Uh, most of the people don't like it. Uh, there are a few Thomas fans in France who are, aren't uh, kids. I'm the only Most one. Most of them are kids. <laughs> yeah, but uh, in Italy though, it's interesting because 
the first season to be available to the general public who just pays for the television and nothing more was season 12 when it aired on Italia 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 Uno. Uh, before that, the other seasons were only available through a uh, Sky uh, decoder with uh, firstly Disney Channel, then uh, Playhouse Disney, then Jim Jam. All of those were not available unless you had a Sky decoder and you paid for the children's channels so most of people only know the CGI era of Thomas mm -hmm. and they so uh, I couldn't really express that I liked it even in elementary school because people by then would already find it childish well mm -hmm. it's yeah. literally not like most of the of the seasons that had come out in Italy weren't childish but they do, they couldn't know that because they because the only way to watch season 1 11 before uh before they saw before ah oh, sorry i got stuck the only one way to watch uh anything anything prior to season 12 was uh, through a sky decoder which by itself is paid and then you have to pay for the children's uh, channel so yeah that wasn't hassle and uh, and people couldn't experience that after 2015 because Jim Jam had already closed by then oh I am the only one here in the either in the podcast channel or in the Thomas Dopp server to have seen season 8 11 in Italian and oh, I feel bad about this because I, I think it should have been available to everyone to watch like I don't I don't like it being a lost dub right now I, I have think the what... rope are recorded but it's in an old phone and Ten-year-old me decided it was a good idea to stop uh, to remove the stuck charger by completely breaking the port. So until I can charge it, I can I cannot provide the uh, the roll call. So yeah, I think also stopped. for for the German-speaking countries, also one of the problems is that we didn't get any season 6 and 7 dub which is like the segue into the hit era and I mean if you watch season 5 and then season 8 that it's a pretty hard hit you don't yeah. really yeah. recognize too much it's from the formula I mean the models are still the same but I mean I mean the speed of season 5 like 180 and then the speed of season 8 like 20 kilometers per hour I mean you watch the stories well I can only agree with Kaldi well, some as a, so in my class, so my the kids in my class know that I'm a Thomas fan. Everybody knows it in my school, I think. But they say it's okay. They say you wow. can do everything, but it's like they know you're watching a children's series, a kids' TV show. But oh no, don't even say, remind me of that. I got bullied so much because I watched. So, yes. Not yes. Any bullied at all? Yeah, in my middle school, uh, I just graduated. Nobody knew I watched it because I wouldn't make the same mistake twice. But People in my elementary school knew, and I got bullied. So I'm not making the same mistake twice. I'm not telling uh, I watched Thomas because I already got bullied for it. Well, I didn't also say the middle school, but then now everyone's cool with it because no one cares. <laughs> well, uh, I problem. don't know. I don't think I'll say it when I pass on to high school this September because, well, uh, maybe if I get some close friends, but uh, other than that, no, no. I really feel with you. Well, and some people, uh, some really friends of mine also helped me filming my series, and they say, "Yeah, it's a definitely okay. Uh, uh, we we agree with you that it's okay." 
and uh, my best friend in my class even has read the Raver series for me that he can talk about it with me. So, <laughs> what? Hey, that, that's really cool. That's really cool. That, that's what? a good friend, I tell you. I, so, oh but, my! But that's I just wish well people but were I like think, this. Yeah. But I think, like, if you have to say it's in whole Austria, I think it's same as in Germany, as Karl had said. Many people uh, have watched season 11, season 12, and CGI and everything beyond it. And even now, some young kids watch, uh, I think, season 24 was the latest. Yeah, 24 was the latest. And so many people say, yeah, Thomas is such a childish TV, so TV yeah. show. But then I show them, well, yo. No! You are <laughs> not the with the Yes! That's some fucking season 24 style. But now you watch the holy series, my Bible. Season 1 to season 4. Thank you. And then it's all cool. So, yeah, from, from Mexico, uh, they generally don't give a shit about Thomas. But uh, for my part, it's kind of weird because. I've never been bullied or, or harassed for my likings in school, but I have been, uh, but I had been judged, let's say it like that, in, in the internet community, in YouTube, I've been judged by liking Thomas, but not the by, by Latin American people, but like with with English, English speakers, I mean, they probably are Amer American people. The ones that judge me for being a Thomas fan. But I've never been judged by another Latin American for being a Thomas fan. Next question. What do you like more? The uh, boring new era, the boring Nitrogen era, or the boring BBBA era? I, I literally asked uh, myself this question and I was thinking about it because I actually kind of accepted the uh, Big Wood Big Adventures movie. It was okay for me. I watched it in the uh, I, I watched it uh, in the in the cinema, and it was and it was I don't know. I, I accept, ac accepted it. I sing I, I sang along the songs. It was beautiful, <laughs> but still it was horrible. But like I I, I could uh, I was able to uh, look past uh, past the things. That were horrible, and I was able to see the beautiful things in it. And there weren't any, so uh, my favorite uh, era of these uh, three are uh, the new era, because it's still uh, the model era. And I have to say, I I I, I can't watch the CGI. I just hate this animation style. I I can't watch one Brenner episode on Nitrogen. I I just can't. I'm sorry, but I I I can't accept this animation. So. What, no, not accept, but like, I, I, I don't like it. I don't know why, but I just can't. So, the new era, just for the lookings. And I mean, just for the lookings. It's, it's, I, I think, like, it's the same bad as Nitrogen's bad, but it, it it's models, so it's better. <laughs> I totally agree with you. And also, yeah, like, I Hector. Hector was a pretty cool one. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because like in only one episode, he had such a great character development. From being a James, 130,333, to, uh, to a really nice person. And I love how, like, I don't know, Bill and Ben, I think, were just shocked that he was like a whole different truck. Or oh, not truck, uh, how's it called? Yeah, truck. truck. Oh, okay. Uh... That's a pretty hard question for me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I I think uh, I kind of prefer the boringness of the Nitrogen era because it's that it's boring. It's not so high paced and so wacky as Big World Be Adventure. And the new era? Did you forgot that? Ah, uh, the new era? No, 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 no. So, so it's between those three. I, yeah. I actually, 
if it's between those three, I I'll have to go with the with the the new era with yep. season eight to twelve because at least it had vari variety on on their stories. Yeah, so um, I would say um, the new era when it comes to those three, because Big World Big Adventures makes me raging because it's so dumb when they show other countries and um, don't really and don't really make good morals. Um, the Sharon Miller era makes me raging because it's just so dumb and lazy writing, and um, the new era doesn't really make me raging as well. And um, Edward strikes out um, because Edward Edward's character was terrible there, but. Um, on the other side, I think the new era was um, pretty alright. There were good episodes like um, Big Strong Henry. That was a, uh, I, I think Big Strong Henry, when Big Strong Henry was uh, one of the last Henry episodes in the new era. That would be a really good Henry development because there we really saw the side of Henry being really um, strong and um, has a lot of. Um, and can say uh, to Gordon his opinion and can be sometimes even better than Gordon. And um, yeah, so I would come to the new era. You come on the new era? Yes, um, we are all gonna have the same answer, don't yeah. we? Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll explain my point, but you know what the, the answer is. It's, yeah, logically the new series. Because it's, I mean, all three s series are boring. But Big Adventures is not that boring because it's also a bit shorter and it has more stuff going on. But the problem with Big World Big, Big, Big Adventures is the animation. See, it's an eyesore. It's, I mean, I can understand it with stuff like. Um, the nitrogen series because that was like I don't know beginning of the 2010s but I mean we we are now in the 20s man we, we, we should be we should have a better animation than like I don't know Toy Story 1 yeah. so um, and also and it's a bit offensive and really and, and a bit dangerous for kids so yeah it's a bit offensive yeah I mean uh, if you look at the Carlos scene from the movie where that, they actually cut it, so that's yeah. that was a good decision. All but the, that was yep, even, um, yeah. But... All the all the portrayal of the Indian railway, it could be also a bit dangerous for kids because when people when when kids um, see this and think, oh cool, that's a really cool railway, and then um, yeah, maybe um, one or two years later they will uh, travel to India, they will be very disappointed and they will get a very wrong um, picture of those countries and that shouldn't be, especially in the kids' show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would say, I mean, I, it's like a sleeping festival for me watching the new series, but I still prefer this over Nitrogen because Nitrogen is just like a coma. Nitrogen is coma. I mean, you, 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 you're not gonna return from nitrogen if you, if, if you watch like a, I don't know, season 13 episode, something like Gordon and Ferdinand. My God, what? everything out of the window. And I mean, yes, as Somebody I think as Caldi said, at least the new series had models. Yeah. At least, I mean, I mean they also. Do with good thing. But in my opinion, the um, nitrogen. Nitrogen era is um, a bit better than Big World Big Adventures because A, it doesn't make me um, rage that much and it's uh, not offensive and um, um, otherwise when you rage in Big World Big Adventures um, you can sleep to the Nitrogen era and sleeping is one of my favorite movies. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That That's a good point. That's a very yeah, good point. Yeah, it's a very good I like point. Sleeping, so it's very Some people have sleeping trouble just say, hey, just watch the nitrogen era of Thomas and Friends. You'll sleep yeah, like the worst. <laughs> you'll sleep like you were in heaven. Yeah, I'll watch Field of <laughs> the Tugboat. Okay, um, do we do you want to say something about Field of the Tugboat? Oh no, uh, Phil can now start. Uh, 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 I already did. Uh, I, 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 I agree with Carl. Yeah. 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 And what's so, your explanation? Because my uh, answer is uh, the only because right Because Cal always right. Uh, I 100% I say the new era. Like, 
I don't yeah. dislike it. So we all agree. Yeah. I don't even dislike yeah. it. Like you my you my favorite well episode is from season 9, so... Yeah, I don't even dislike it that much. If you wanna know, by the way, my favorite episode is Thomas and the Rainbow. For nostalgia reasons, it was yeah, the first Yeah, I always watched it as a kid. Or I would say, um... The episode it Edward. was one of the best episodes uh, in the new series, in my opinion. Like, in my opinion, I would say the best episode of the new series is the episode where Edward um, should uh, take the mail, but is too shy to ask some people when he doesn't know of him because I can really relate it, and it's a very, very good moment. Season eleven. Okay, was a really so. Good I in think uh, my favorite new era episode is definitely the one with. This. I think my favorite one is definitely the one with Henry's interesting face, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh yeah, Henry's oh, no. like fat his face. addiction. Yeah, with like his one hundred chins, it's really like the weird. neck breaking face, like. Yeah. Because it was just I mean, his addiction I mean, oh, to did you remember the uh, did you remember the sentence I think from James that he got fat? <laughs> he did from, he from got this. fat. It was from Thomas. <laughs> You're too <laughs> fat, you need That's exercise. Fun. Okay, um my last uh, the last question we wrote uh, is a question that doesn't belong to uh, Thomas so we uh, also have a question that, uh, like, uh, so the people know that we aren't just Thomas and are also people who actually live in the world outside of I'm Thomas. <laughs> Thomas I'm, I mean, I try to convince them. It, it is totally not true we just live for Thomas, but, like, we try. We try to convince them, you know. So, uh, mm. the question is, do you have vacation? And if you do, where are you going? Uh, I will be going to Sardinia because I I want to see my family, and I oh. know I fucked up though. Oh, I don't just... care. Interesting. Okay, Mark. Very yeah. interesting. I uh, I go uh, to uh, Greece. Uh, uh, if you ask more specifically, uh, do you know the biggest island of Greece? Greta. Greta. The beautiful. Greta. 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 Yeah, I was there. Greta. Yeah, Three. I'm going to the west side, no, the east side of Creta, but, uh, I mean, uh, I have one problem with uh, Creta, because I hate everything that's warm, and Creta is warm. I feel you, bro. <laughs> oh no, it's... your your German accent is really kicking in right now. I, I try to... I can kick it also. I, 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 I try to. I try to get accents in my language. I can kick it also, but I'm not British. Should I? Should I? Should I? Uh, should I show you that I can do accents? This is the perfect opportunity for a quick break. We recommend you talk to someone maybe or go to the toilet or just eat something. Uh, we'll be right back. As being Latin American, I don't have enough money to go to another country. So... <laughs> I'll just be going to countryside. Yeah, with my father and oh, my that's brother. also cool. Oh, that's cool too. Yeah, that's totally cool. Well, I'm going to Italy, to Venezia. Oh, oh I've never exciting. been there, but I would love to. I will take my, my, my Helmut. Okay, who's now? The there, and I will make some photos uh, from... Tencent and Helmut and Yeah, make a photo shoot. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm first I'm going to a German country named Griesbach. Griesbach. <laughs> 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 oh no, you're Jonas Böckles. No, no, no. Uh, what? In, in no. <laughs> okay, and then I'm Okay, going now to... you're safe, no worries. Yeah, and then... You're safe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to the uh, Czech Republic because my um, older cousin has a um, uh, will get married and I was invited. And um, yeah, we will then go to Slovak where my mother grew up. 
and I know a bit Slovak, so um, I can uh, try to contact with Slo contact with Slovak Slovak people, which would uh, practice a bit of my Slovak skills, and then we would go to cruel Croatia, like every year. So Louis, sick, sick, sick. Um, I'm gonna stay here. Like that's the sixth holiday I'm st staying here because yeah, you have the money. of the pandemic and stuff. You have um, the money, though, the money um, well, I mean everything's so expensive here. Like a coke costs like three francs and forty. Um, uh, how's it called? The the, the other oh, yeah, three francs forty. So you see, everything's so expensive, and usually we go to Bayern like in summer, but now the second time we don't. And maybe, just maybe, hopefully, in the autumn holidays we can go to South France again because that's one of my favorite places. Oh, I live in the south. But the Provence. But you live in Switzerland. Oh, do you yeah. live exactly. near... Um, okay, so, yeah, we are finished. And so that's it for this year's podcast. I hope you enjoyed and um, see you then, folks. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Adios. Goodbye, my curvas. <laughs> Goodbye, oh, my no, head lovers, my head lovers, to my all my Indian followers. <laughs> bye bye.